Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Marvin back with another video. And I just finished checking out the Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia weigh-in uh, for the IBF uh, welterweight championship. And uh, it was a pretty decent turnout, looked like to me. Uh, the crowd was uh, pro Mikey Garcia. And, you know, that, that didn't surprise me being that, you know, it's in Texas and, you know, there's a huge... Mexican population in Texas So that that really didn't shock me that Mikey uh, Had the crowd behind him even though it was in Errol Spence's hometown So now Mikey came in at hundred and forty five and a half pounds and uh, I, I expected Mikey to be a little bit more uh, I guess leaner maybe a little bit more muscular you know him training with snack and and uh, He didn't look I mean he looked heavier to me but, you know, he didn't look uh, defined like I thought he would. I thought he'd look more defined, but I guess, you know, yeah, he wasn't. So, and Errol came in at 146 and one quarter pounds. You know, he was ripped and ready as he always is. Uh, a lot of people thought he looked smaller. You know, he looked pretty much about the same to me, you know. Uh, he looked good, though. He looked like he was in great shape. And uh, this is going to be a great fight. Uh, I don't think it'll be uh, a fight where it's over in one or two rounds. I don't think so. But honestly, I, I think Errol's going to win this fight. You know, Mikey Garcia is a excellent fighter. He is, his fundamentals are are good. Uh, he has a great right hand. He's he's got some pop on it. You know, he's pretty strong. But he is you know coming up. Uh, from a smaller weight class, and Errol's just a monster, man. When it comes to uh, those those body shots, man, those things are vicious. I watched. Uh, I went to the fight when he fought Ocampo, and it, man, the way he hit Ocampo, it was. I mean, it was over before you knew it. So, uh, I think that's going to play a big factor. Mikey's looking kind of soft around that midsection, and you know, Errol's probably going to go for that midsection. Uh, of course, Errol has to reach. He has to height. And the weight advantage, but like I said, Mikey's a good fighter. He, you know, he's smart in the ring. You know, I'm sure he knows how to make adjustments. But I gotta say, I think Earl takes this fight. So, what do you guys think? Uh, you think Mikey's gonna come out on top, or do you think Earl's going to win the fight? My prediction: uh, the fight's over within six or seven rounds. Uh, knockout by Earl Spence. So let me know what you guys think. This is Coach Marvin. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.